we've also been successful, well, semi-successful so far, at beginning discussions with government on the reuse of, of state-owned buildings. Uh, in 1962, the government, um, the military government, when it took over, nationalized a lot of buildings. This is standard chartered. It was actually in, uh, before World War II, a quarter of all of Standard Chartered's operations were in Burma. Uh, and its office here in Rangoon was three times the size of its office in Shanghai. This building was built in 1939, 1940. Um, and we've been in discussions with both Standard Chartered and also with uh, the government on the possible reuse of this building. This is now a, a government uh, bank, only partially used. Standard Chartered is interested in renovating it. Um, and then having a small representative office in, in that space. Um, but we're also involved in, in a few other building possible reuse projects. This is Gandhi Hall, which used to be the Rangoon Times before World War II. It was then bought by the governments of Burma and India as a memorial to Mahatma Gandhi. There was a, a museum display and then there was a big public event space that was used for many historic occasions over the past 50 years. Over the past 50 years, the, the control of this had gone to a body of trustees who are now in their 80s. And they wanted to knock it down and build an 18-story condominium. And through a sort of slightly convoluted logic, they said that because they'd worked so hard in protecting this for 50 years, they felt they deserved the right to knock it down now <laughs> and build a condominium and that they had many debts that they needed to, to pay off. But we are working with both the Myanmar government and the government of India now on a project to, to restore this building to its original purpose, actually, which would be partly an exhibition or a, a memorial to, to Mahatma Gandhi or to India-Burma relations, but also um, a public event space um, and maybe other uh, uh, retail space downstairs. 